Hello, my name is Marius Herzog. I am a sales and marketing manager at the company Hermann Apparatebau. I would like to introduce you to the implementation of normobaric and hyperbaric ozone oxygen therapy. The following disposable materials are required for the preparation of normobaric or hyperbaric ozone oxygen therapy. One of our eye sets, a needle for drawing the sodium citrate, a butterfly cannula, one or two ampoules of sodium citrate. First, we switch on the device on the back side. In the meantime, we can prepare the disposable materials. For this purpose, I take the eye set, open it, take out the entire set, loosen the two plastic bands and hang the eye set on the hook of our IV pole. The upper line is connected to the middle output of the device with a filter. This roller clamp remains open the whole time. For the lower infusion line, we push the roller clamp up to the patient and close it. Then we open the sodium citrate. Now we have to create a vacuum in the eye set. To do this, we press the vacuum button on the device. After a vacuum of about minus 0.5 to minus 0.6 bar has been created, we can switch off the vacuum function again. Now we take our long cannula, open it and connect this to the infusion line of the eye set. Now we have to draw the sodium citrate through the needle into the eye set. We remove the protective cap of the needle, stick this into the sodium citrate and slowly open the roller clamp. Now the sodium citrate draws into the eye set. We close it. Take the second ampoule and allow the second ampoule of sodium citrate to flow in for the hyperbaric ozone therapy. Then we close the roller clamp again, place the protective cap on the needle and hang the hose there. The set is now prepared for the hyperbaric ozone therapy. Now we puncture the patient's vein. To do this, we take the lower hose, remove the needle, take our butterfly cannula, and connect this. Now we can puncture the patient. Once the patient's vein has been punctured, we open the roller clamp at the patient and the blood is drawn into the eye set. We have to mix the sodium citrate with the blood every now and then. Now we go to the infusion mode. Select our concentration and confirm with the OK button. 
Now we can insert the blood hose in the sensor of the air trap with some free space on top and also in the pinch valve. We press the silver button to activate the air trap. Now the air trap is ready so that the device can build up pressure in the bottle. Now we let the patient's blood run down a centimeter and open the tourniquet. Then we close the roller clamp and begin to mix ozone with the blood. Now we open the roller clamp at the patient and allow the blood to flow back. Since we are working with pressure, the patient's vein should always be checked. Now we close the roller clamp if we want to repeat the process and press the repeat button. Now the device creates a vacuum again and we open the patient's roller clamp again so that the blood can be drawn back into the eye set. In addition, we have to close the tourniquet at the patient again when repeating. Now we allow the enriched blood to flow back to the patient. Once the blood has flown back, we end the therapy and remove the butterfly cannula from the patient's vein. Thank you for your attention. If you should have any questions, we are happy to help you at any time.